this from Garfinkel, is people are Googling with a problem. Your website comes up as one solution. So I ask you, what is the problem your potential clients are looking for that you are the answer? And start Googling what it is you think your prospects would be looking for that you're the answer. That's why the back of your website, the keywords and the HTML is what makes you drive traffic, not your beautiful photograph. And remember, people aren't looking for you. They don't know about you. Now, of course, past clients will find us through our website. Most of the business you're looking for, though, they don't know they are looking for you. So you might want to try Googling or whatever your favorite search engine is to find how fast you come up. So when they find you with your compelling copy, you know they've got an itch and you have to scratch that itch and make their problem a lot bigger than they think it is. Make them realize those pathetic sales presentations are losing them business and reputation. And then with your compelling copy, you say, but don't worry. I have the salve for a relatively small investment. We can train your salespeople. So look at who is your target, what is the problem you're going to solve, and have a conversation in print. And then give your prospects several options of how they can contact you. And again, with the magic of technology, their emails end up in your inbox. Another reason your website is so amazing and helps you, in fact, run a very profitable business with little help is because everything in the old days that we used to send them is now available for them to help themselves. I even have confirming letters on my website. People sometimes fill them in themselves if they want it right now. So if you look at the four meeting planners part of my website that we'll show you, you notice in the yellow boxes, then you can see this is bios, this is introductions, this is photographs, descriptions of products, anything you could immediately use. So you save money with your website, one, because it's a salesperson, 24 hours seven. Two, it also is a place to house everything that you used to have to send to people. Certainly, you can have conversations through these Chesney communication clips. People really feel that they know me before they talk to me. Then you have a vehicle to, of course, save the information that they send you you put them in your database, and then if they put a hold on your calendar, it's immediately linked through eSpeakers. Everything works together. Whether it's your website, your networking, your strategic alliances, or a past client referral, you now have the job. This is the best way you can get repeat bookings because you do know it's a lot easier to, in fact, work with one client for many years than it is to keep finding new clients. Go early and stay late. Because I go early, I'm very interactive. I'm schmoozing, I'm getting quotes, I'm asking questions, and when I speak, I am no longer a stranger. And as you are probably very familiar with the law of reciprocation, when you show an interest in people, they feel obligated to at least give you more attention. And they are hanging on your words at the beginning a lot more than if you haven't met them. Then, of course, stay late. Let's face it, we speak in some very nice resorts. So by staying late, I always offer on the same day to do breakout sessions with a keynote. This is a way that you show your clients there are many ways you can serve them and you can certainly justify your fee or add to the fee by doing extra services and they still only have one set of expenses. Let me give you a specific way of how this paid off big time. I was speaking for ADP, 
Now, ADP has sponsored me at the American Payroll Association for years for a session I do for them. And I was speaking for the user conference. I was booked for a keynote and delivered five other breakout sessions, two the day of the keynote, three the next day. Out of 126 breakout sessions, mine were first, second, third, fifth, and seventh in popularity. That's not bad to have in writing and on the website. Anyway, I was doing something on presentation skills, and I take people out of the audience and I coach them. And one of the executives who was walking around, just popping in his head in all the breakout sessions, when he walked in, as fate would have it, one of his salespeople was on stage and I was coaching him the sales presentation. So he sat down and watched. Afterwards, he came up and said, could I talk to you about delivering sales presentation skills training in our company? It has been one of my largest long-term accounts by adding the extra breakout. So staying longer, showing people that you can do a lot more than just be a keynote speech. Because Alan Y says, and I found it's very true, you're more likely to build a very comfortable business if there is an element of training as well as keynoting in your business and your repertoire. Then the next way you can get repeat bookings. I absolutely 100% guarantee, take it to the bank, I never lied to you before, is to customize your speech. I learned this from George Morrissey, who is a legend in the speaking business. Early in my career, George and I were both booked to speak for the National Recreational Vehicle Association. And George stood in his speech and talked about being a mystery shopper and how he'd gone around and he'd talked to recreational vehicle distributors and pretended to be a customer. I have taken that one idea and used it through my entire career.